Now let's take a look at the seven segment LED, especially the component details, the interface circuit, and managing current. Here's the seven segment LED that is included in the NI MyRio starter kit. It's also available from SparkFun. This is a common anode device. Each one of the segments is an individual light emitting diode. For example, one segment might be the individual diode here with anode and cathode. Now as you work your way around, each one of these segments, as well as the decimal point, is its own LED. We have a total of eight LEDs in this device. All of the anodes are wired together and brought out as an individual pin called CA for common anode. The remaining cathodes for all eight elements are brought out individually. The standard labeling scheme for seven segment LEDs begins with segment A, B, C, D, and so forth, working your way around clockwise. We have G in the middle, and then the decimal point, DP. There's A through G and the decimal point. The layout for this particular model, as viewed from the top view, provides two pins for the common anode. Those are wired together. You can use either one or both. And then as you look at the remaining pins, those are the segments A through G and the decimal point. All right, let's take a look at how you can interface this device to the NI MyRio. The current syncing version for LEDs is the only option for this device. That's because all of the anodes are wired together and each anode needs to be connected to the 3.3 volt supply. Now as we consider the state of the digital output, we need it to be low in order to activate the device. That applies a voltage across the diode and current flows. Turns out that a direct connection to MyRio is okay for this device. Let's take a look at why. Here I'm looking at the voltage current characteristic for the LED. I took some measurements with an Elvis product to get those. Here's the load line associated with the digital output for 3.3 volts and 65 ohms approximately for the output resistance. We see the operating point indicates an eight milliamp draw for each segment. Now when all segments are active, we would have eight times that value or 64 milliamps. Depending on your product application, this might be a bit excessive when you have all eight active at once. It turns out that if we reduce the operating point current to about two milliamps, we can do that by increasing the total resistance in the circuit by adding a limiting or current limiting resistance. 220 ohms is a standard value that works pretty well. That gets our current to, down to about two milliamps per segment. Might be a little bit more reasonable. Now it's important to realize that each one of the eight lines requires its own 220 ohm resistor. So there's a space and cost issue. Might be wondering why not just place a current limiting resistor right here. Well, it turns out that each segment intensity would drop as more segments become active. So we can't get by with one. We actually need eight 